Hello everyone, this is Karthik Selvaraj and in this video 16 of Mule ESP tutorials we will be seeing about uh, one of the scope components called composite source. So let me open the flow. So I have created a project by the name composite source demo. So, so we have uh, situations in which uh, we will be getting messages from different sources which needs to go in a similar processing path and it would be outputted to a single destination. So in such cases it is wise to use uh, the composite source scope. So in this example uh, I have taken uh, uh, let, let's assume there is a company and uh, who is collecting the data from social media. So there are three major uh, social media data they need. One is from uh, uh, YouTube. Let's see. Let's say uh, the YouTube folks has told that they can only FTP the files to our location. Next, we have Twitter who say that uh, we can only post the messages in a queue. So it can be in any point in queue. Next, we have Facebook who say that they can uh, post HTTP request. So, we, if we have people with different or same, it can be same FTP as well. Uh, place where they will, there will be a single processing that needs to undergo for different places of source, then we can use the composite source scope okay so now whatever comes over here it goes to the logger node and it says the message transmission started and it goes to an ftp folder called the output okay so if you see this example if youtube guys place the file in this youtube underscore input folder it will go to this output uh, folder as well so whatever we uh, we see the HTTP component 8081 on the URI Facebook whatever you post the messages over here it will go to this particular location as well output and whatever output you pro or uh, po messages you post in this Twitter component also goes over here okay so now let me show you the output output is empty so next I will show you the so the YouTube input is also empty so now let me first uh, put the YouTube JSON message over here so YouTube JSON message uh, contains the uploader details uploader details and it's just a details that they have in their website so let me post this into this input folder so before that I will uh, run this okay. <coughs> so it has been successfully deployed so if I place the file over here so it is picked and you can see the file is transferred over here just the YouTube data so the number one thing is clear next we will have the Facebook data okay so, so the Facebook data contains the message the comments they provided the links they liked and data like that so make sure that you have choose your uh, media type as application slash json and i'm going to post into 8081 in the uri facebook so let me post it you can see you got a 200 response and if you go to the output you can see the facebook uh, file transferred here as well and finally you go back to your uh, Twitter okay select JSON 
and uh, choose the Twitter okay okay and and I think uh, this might be a, a little bit problem if I choose JSON and then paste the payload it's not working if I choose text or if I delete this have it as text paste it then save it as JSON I'm able to post okay so the message is sent now so so actually once I post it took the message I guess so you can see the Twitter messages over here as well so this is how you use the composite source effectively so that's all for this video so i'll see you with uh, a different node in my next video thanks for watching